Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So I just wanted to show you some of the new additions that I've gotten over maybe the last month or so. So, first one is this African Violet, which is just a couple centimeters, like maybe like an inch tall, a couple small leaves off of it. Really neat, and it's blown up to be this size already. They grow really fast. It already put out its first flower not too long ago. As you can see, there's some more flowers developing. It's really neat. It uh, needs a bigger pot for sure though. I have a proper violet pot for it already. Just gotta put it up in there. But yeah, overall, really cool. Very excited to have that. Also, this is a, it's a small specimen of a crimson clover. See how cool that color is? They're gorgeous. This is a small specimen. I got a whole bunch. I got them in all kinds of places growing right now, but they're really pretty. Now this is one of the ones that I was very, very excited about. The pollinators love them. Look at this little, maybe a moth, maybe a butterfly. I think it's a moth actually. Moth pollinating it. Honeybees love this thing. It's an echinacea called Cheyenne Spirit, which supposedly is a multicolored variety. For what I read about it anyway. And this is a yellow one, but they came in all kinds of colors. So I'm very excited. Maybe it'll pop up with new colors or whatever, but even if it doesn't, yellow is nice. They are often purple, and I do definitely would like to have a couple different colors of them. I did end up getting another one, which is this one here. I let it get way too dry, like bone dry. It was in a tiny pot, and it just completely got bone dry. And uh, so I did end up potting this one up, and it's bouncing back real well. It's growing very well now. It's got plenty of nutrition and everything because it's in a nice size pot now. But definitely wasn't like that when I first got it, and the flowers did unfortunately suffer. But you can kind of see the color of this one here. It's a uh, an orange variety. It's called Flamenco Orange. So that'll be really pretty as well. The only other one that I will end up getting if I end up seeing it is a uh, purple variety, which is like I said, which is what you usually see them in, see them in, and I would like to get that just to kind of round off the echinacea ensemble, I suppose. Just real quick, I got another lavender because it was super cheap. They were going to throw them out, so I figured I'd pick up one of them. I can maybe divide them and plant them into spaces or whatever. It should be fine. More crimson clovers. I really like the way these look. I am so glad that I ended up getting them. I just find it's a lot more um, attractive looking than the plain white ones. They will stay a little bit stockier if they get more sunlight. Uh, the base here, they don't get that much sunlight because they're uh, kind of being shaded up by my jalapenos. Look at all the jalapenos. Man, man, oh man. Like I'm telling you guys, over winter your jalapenos, they just do so well. And they produce a bumper crop every single year. But anyway, that's not what you're here for. <laughs> the only other thing that I got in the front that I got in the front here are some marigolds. I ended up getting a couple. They weren't all that expensive. I was like, eh. I know all, all the benefits, you know, they attract pollinators, they um they keep certain pests away like mosquitoes so I'm like hey why not you know I'll plant the seeds out some of these seed heads I'm just letting them go to seed got another one over here with a white one let them go to seed and I'll plant them again, plant them out again next year maybe I'll put them in some of my bigger containers and let them uh, repel bugs that way attract pollinators that way sounds like a pretty good uh, good thing to me so let me go to the backyard now and show you one last thing that I'm also very excited about so we went to one of the Washington State's inlets and I came across this one. And I am 99.9% .9 sure that it is a golden current. So like the red current is native to Europe and amongst other places I'm sure. The golden current is native to North America. So this is uh, gives off a lot of flowers that the bees love. It's one of the first to flower in the spring. 
So that also means I would guess that it's one of the first ones to really set a lot of fruit. That is very delicious, that the birds also love. And it's also uh, pretty easy to propagate. So I definitely will be uh, offering this up for sale at one point when I can. <laughs> but these have already been in, the, in the, these containers here for a couple days now. And they're perking up already. So I think these will root very nicely. And I'll be able to add another current to my collection. So I am very excited about that. I don't think they're going to bear fruit next year. But, you know, they'll hopefully will at least be very well rooted in and just take off like mad. I am very excited for these guys. I was honestly extremely surprised that I found it because I knew they were native here, but I just didn't think they, I would actually be able to find them. So for me to have one finally, I am very excited. Well, that pretty much wraps it up. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.